Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. A little bird told you, did it? You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. And what's the problem? As long as herb women stick to giving psychic to folk and bloated cows, assisting in childbirth, or burning incense in bedrooms to help with sleep, then nothing at all. But this, this is sacrilege, and it's unsafe. All sorts of molds and lichens and poisonous plants and other foul things go into those concoctions. I'd hate to see her poison some poor gullible lass. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman, in the woods. Yeah. Mother of God! You look like you've been assaulted. Would you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Certainly. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Speak up, you old hag, or I'll wring your neck. You threatened an old woman like me? But, very well. I'll tell you all I know. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, 
Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Uzhets wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you, or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks... But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Give me the ointment recipe. It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. Why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Scali, and Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. Yeah. I hear someone coming. Who's there? Is it you, Kuta? No, I'm still over here. What's going on here? Welcome, Prince of Darkness. And make yourself at home. What would you like us to do? We will fulfill your every wish if you fulfill us. Prince of Darkness, what in God's name are you babbling about? Why are you testing us? Testing you? Jesus Christ, what have you been smearing on yourselves? A magic ointment from the herb woman? We are ready to pleasure you, Lord. In return, all we ask is that you rid us of the humans. And if you won't rid us of them, then help us get away from here. Give us riches so we can start a new life in the city. I won't be fulfilling any of your wishes. Oh. What must we do to please you, O oh Lord? In return, you'll have to... have to... Shit. I feel very weird. Oh, that ointment. You smeared the ointment on me. Fear not, my lord. Nothing will happen to you. It's all part of the ceremony. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What did he do to me? Quite well after your long journey. Huh? Long journey? What? From the gates of hell to here. 
When will you take care of the humans? And why don't you have horns and hooves and a goat's tail, like the priest said? I, I got rid of my horns and hooves along the way, and uh, I keep my tail in my breeches. I only get it out for special occasions. <laughs> I hope there'll be one soon enough. How come you're a talking mare? What mare? Does your sight deceive you? I'm Vera, and I turn many a young man's head in Ujits. I flew in on a tree branch. It took no time at all. Flying on a branch? Will you teach us how to do that too? We are your maid servants now. We'll do anything you wish. Um. Actually, I wanted something else. What's that, oh lord? Will you serve me and do all I tell you to? Oh yes, our lord of Hellfire. We'll do whatever you want. Just rid us of those wretched humans. Which one will you take first? Me! Take me! No, me! And what about the other one? Why doesn't she speak up? Kuta, you chicken! Speak up! I want you, Mayor. Vera. I knew it. Come on. Come closer to me. That was tough. Oh, but I'm all dizzy again. What is wrong with you? Is something going to come of it or not? I need to... to sleep. Bugger sleep! What was that? What is it?